Hi there and welcome back to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style Crochet. My name is Jane and to all my lovely subscribers, thank you so much. I really do appreciate your lovely support and all your lovely comments. So keep them coming, those lovely comments. And if you're new here, it's the first time you've been here, welcome. And if you love everything vintage and you love crochet, this is the perfect channel for you. Everything you see on my channel has been designed and created by me and I love anything vintage and I try and adapt and incorporate that style into my crochet patterns. Now I thought Mother's Day is coming up soon in the UK and later on in the year for the US and I thought I would do a little mini series of Mother's Day gift ideas because obviously it's nice to have nice ideas to give gifts to your mum and what better way than a little crochet piece of happiness. So in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a lovely set of cotton washcloths. Gorgeous little gift set. I bundled these together in some ribbon and they just make a perfect sweet little gift to give to mum on Mother's Day. So if you would like to have a go at making them all you need is some cotton weight yarn I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook and some cotton iron yarn. So if you want to crochet along with me, please do. And I shall see you back here in a moment. So in this series of Mother's Day gift ideas, we're going to be making a set of cotton washcloths really simple idea but a lovely gift to give to mum on Mother's Day and I think she would really appreciate wrapped up in a little bundle how thoughtful that would be and I'm going to be using a cotton yarn obviously so it's easy to launder and also it's good for absorbency in this tutorial I'm going to be using Rico Creative Cotton Aran uh, yarn these are the shades I've chosen for this set and just a little bit more information on this yarn it's a 50 gram ball and approximately 93 yards on this ball but you can use any um, yarn that's 100% cotton just like this one so any one at all and as I say I'm making a set of three so I thought these all complemented each other so I'm using this pretty stitch today and let's begin the tutorial is in English terms so if you're watching from the US you need to be aware of that. It's suitable for beginners and we're going to be using a 5mm crochet hook, some darning needles to sew in your end, obviously some scissors and that's all you need for this tutorial. So let's begin. So let's make our slip knot. So you just make a slip knot whichever way you're comfortable with. I do have a tutorial as well if you need to refer to that. And we're just going to start off with simple chains and we're going to chain 26. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And continue like that for 26 chains. So there we've got our 26 chains. We're going to work down into the second chain from our hook. So that loop on your hook doesn't count as a stitch. So we're going to work down to the second chain. So count back one, two. We're going to insert our hook into that second chain and we're going to work a double crochet. Yarn over and pull through and two trebles. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So another treble. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Like so. And then we're going to skip two. So skip one and two and then we're going to go down into that next chain there and we're going to repeat what we've just done. So double crochet and then two trebles into the same stitch. Mm 
there we go. I'm just going to skip two, one, two, and then go down to that next stitch, insert your hook and work a double crochet and two more trebles. And we're just going to repeat that all the way along, so skip two, double crochet two trebles, skip two, double crochet two trebles all the way along and I shall see you somewhere around about here and I'll show you how to finish off. Right, so continue along until your last three stitches there and you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those stitches and we've got the three stitches left and we're going to skip two and we're just going to double crochet into that last stitch. So insert your hook and work a double crochet and that completes row one. So for row two, chain one and turn and we're going to be working into that first stitch there. So we're going to insert your hook back down into that first stitch and we're going to do double crochet and two trebles like before. And then we're going to work in every double crochet now from the previous row. So you're just going to skip across to the next double crochet and they're easy to see. You've got your two trebles that you did and then you've got your double crochet. So you're just going to insert your hook into that double crochet of the previous round and work a double crochet and two trebles. So down and work two trebles. And then down into the next double crochet and two trebles. We're just going to continue like this all the way along. Really simple pattern to follow now. So just continue to insert your hook into that double crochet of the previous round. Work a double crochet and two trebles. And we're just going to finish off inserting our hook into the top of that double crochet that we started the round. So I just insert your hook into that last and finish with a double crochet into that last one. So you should always have eight of the pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should always have eight of that pattern. So you're just going to continue the same row over and over, so chain one and turn, working down into that first stitch, with a single crochet, two trebles, down into the next double crochet and work a double crochet and two trebles. Down into the next double crochet and two trebles. And it's really that simple. So you just continue like that all the way along working into the double crochet of the row before and working a double crochet and two trebles. You get to the last stitch of that row and you finish off with a double crochet and that's simple as that.
So there's our last two trebles. And when you get to the end of the row, you just need to insert your hook into that first double crochet that we made and just work a double crochet. And you just continue like that all the way along until you've done 20, 20 rows in total and I shall see you somewhere near the end of that 20th row. Right, so I've done 20 rows. I've just got to do a final double crochet on the last stitch of that row. So I'm just going to insert my hook and work that double crochet. So now we've got the main part of the face cloth complete and we're just going to now work on the pretty scallop edging so all we're going to do now is work all the way around with a double crochet stitch so just as we're in the corner I'm just going to slip stitch around to this side and I'm just going to chain one which doesn't count as a stitch and I'm just going to go down back into there and work a double crochet and I'm just going to pick up evenly along the sides with double crochet doesn't have to be too exact, just evenly along, insert your hook and just work the double crochet and when you get towards the end just work into the corner there and just insert your hook and work three double crochets into the corner that just naturally brings you round onto the next side and then again just insert your hook along the bottom edge and work double crochet and then when you get to the next corner just insert your hook and just work three double crochets And then we're just going to work up the other side. So again, just evenly picking up your double crochets. And then just work three more into the third corner. And just double crochet along. I'm just coming to the end so we're just going to finish with three double crochets into that corner and then we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet that we did at the beginning And slip stitch it close. So now we've done our edging of double crochet. Now we're going to work on to the pretty scallop, which is really simple. And it doesn't really matter where you're starting because it's very forgiving. You just work your scallops all the way around. So we're going to chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch, and we're just going to go down into that first stitch and do a double crochet. And then we're going to skip two, one, two and we're going to work five trebles into the next so one, two, three, four, five skip two and then double crochet into the next one that's created a pretty scallop and then we're just going to skip two and then we're going to work five trebles into the next and that's all you do all the way around work five trebles skip one 
skip two, double crochet into the next, skip two, five trebles into the next. So if you want to continue just like me, working five trebles, skip two, double crochet, skip two, five trebles all the way along. And I shall see you somewhere round about here and I'll show you how to finish off the scallop edging. Right, so I've worked all the way around making my scallops and just coming to the beginning, That's there's my first double crochet. So let's just see how we join. So we're going to skip two and work the five. Just wanted to show you how easy it is just to join your scallops at the end and don't worry if you don't have exact number to skip if you don't have skip two so there's my five and I would skip two so skip two and then I've got a stitch there and I've got a scallop there so that probably would fit nicely so I'm just going to slip two do my double crochet there and then skip two which which takes me perfectly to that first double crochet that I did and a slip stitch close so don't worry if it's not exact when you get to the end if it isn't two to skip there might only be one to skip um, it's near enough as you get round and it's very forgiving and all you need to do now is trim your yarn and pull through How pretty there's a set perfect for Mother's Day and all I would do to give them to my mum would be to fold them over and fold them over into a lovely little bundle and all I've done is bundled them together, tied them with a lovely organza bow ribbon. How pretty is that? Perfect little gift for mum on Mother's Day or even birthdays or just a simple thank you gift giving idea. Really simple, can be done in a couple of hours, doesn't take an awful lot of yarn and how easy and pretty is that? Well, how easy was that tutorial? Really simple. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe if you haven't already done so. And then you'll be kept up to date with all my tutorials, all my designs and my yarn reviews that I do bring out. I appreciate all your comments. So if you've got anything you'd like to ask me in the comments box below, please feel free to add those comments. And there is, as always, everything I bring out on video, there's also a PDF pattern that you can download and follow by a paper pattern if you prefer to. And I'll put the link for that in the box below and you can then download it just for a few pennies uh, if you needed to. Uh, so this is really sweet Mother's Day gift ideas. Please check out the other videos that I'm making in this little mini series, Mother's Day mini series, and then it maybe give you some inspiration, some ideas to make a nice little gift for your mum. Everything I'm doing in the, this mini series just requires a small amount of yarn and it doesn't take too long to make either perfect. So until the next time, Practice does make perfect, but please take care and happy crochet.